needing versus wanting inside of a relationship. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Relationship Thursday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook. Get rid of your problems, not your partner. Now, this is a conversation that we're having, and so I wanted to go into uh, really giving, um, because again, I hear people all the time saying that they want to be in a relationship where they're needed. And I've always said, no, you don't. You want to be in one where you're wanted. And one guy was adamant about it. We were having the conversation. He's adamant about the fact that, no, that's not true. People, you need that particular person. And, and here's why I, I feel strongly the other way. And again, as you guys know, everything I shared, man, this is up to you. You can believe what you want to believe. I'm just giving you my perspective. Like I said, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It's my opinion. But Tony Robbins has discovered that there are six human needs. There's uh, security. There's variety. There's significance. There's uh, love and connection, growth, and contribution. Interesting. Nowhere in there did I hear about a partner. Nowhere did I hear about a spouse or another human being. Nowhere in there is, is that a human, because a need is something that people will do whatever it takes. And, and like Tony teaches, even the needs, people will even do stuff that we believe is uh, unbelievable stuff. You know, um, you know, when you have people out here killing folks and doing some of the stuff that we've seen and heard, you just go, I, I mean, how could as a human being, you do something like that to another person or another thing or whatever? Um, and it's because people will do whatever it takes to get those needs addressed. And again, you notice I didn't say anything about a partner. So it's not that you need a partner. Here's what's really taking place. You want a partner who is fulfilling those needs. You guys got that? See, there's a difference. It's not you need them. You have needs that they happen to be fulfilling and that creates the draw to them. Got to be able to separate the two. As I always say, separate people from what they do. And so that's why, because again, uh, the same person was, 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 was adamant about love is action. Then to me, that saying love is conditional. And you guys know how I feel about that. Because to say love is action, then what action needs to be taken? Which means you're going to define what actions I should be taking, things I should be doing in order to receive your love, that's conditional. That's a dictatorship. That's you basically drawing on a board. This is the things that you have to do in order to receive my love. Really, as you guys know, I've, I've said before, if you got conditional love for me personally, you can keep it because I'm not going to go by your board. I'm not going to live my life that way. I don't recommend anybody live their life that way. But you came here to walk out your journey and enjoy your, you know what I'm saying, the things that, that you desire. The key is to find people who are headed in the same direction as you, but not because you're being a dictator and putting it up here and go, these are the things that you must do in order to get my love. Does that make sense? Because that's why I said love is unconditional. It means I accept you as you are. And again, I believe people tie love and intimacy together. Love, I can accept you as you are. And you guys know I've always said before, I didn't say agree. I can accept you as you are. That's love. And that's why a lot of people that that say love is action, why they have a hard time with that because they go, well, if you're cheating or you're doing this and you're doing that, um, I can't love you. Yes, you can. There are people, and we've seen it, where there's people that someone killed a family member and the person was able to forgive that person who committed the crime. 
even hug the person in the courtroom and stuff. And you just sit there. And for the majority of people, you sit there going, I can never do that. Right. Because that's your thought process. But that person has learned how to separate people from what they do so they can love the individual and be in total disagreement with the actions. That's why when a person says love is action, I disagree because you're saying, again, your actions determine whether I love you. That's conditional. That's not love because you're going to take it away the moment I stop doing things that you are asking me to do. That would make you a dictator. Make sense? The job is, again, accepting people as they are. Find the people that are headed in the same direction as you. I love everyone. Now, based on the things that you do in your life, we may not ever spend any time together. That's why, you know, you've heard me say before, I can love you from a, from a distance. I can. I can love you, but I don't agree with what you do, so we ain't hanging out. That's the distance. But the intimacy, and that's the part I think people where we, we're having this conflict as far as the thought process, because intimacy, as I've shared before, is like an iceberg. 10% is above water and that's all you see. The other 90% is underwater. Most relationships you're going to have is 10%. That means it's all people are going to see is the surface level. Just enough information to make this relationship work. The stuff beneath the water, that's intimate stuff. That's into me stuff. Into miss. See, you guys follow? That's into me. That's not going to be shared with everyone. You have to have a certain place in my life to start going beneath the water and getting that stuff. And so that's what starts to bring us closer. And so to me, that's that has nothing to do with love. That has to do with intimacy. And so what people do is as long as you're doing the things that, again, I want you to do, we want to say that's love. And it's to me personally, it's not. And for me, again, if that's your definition of love, you don't even need to share it with me because I already know that the chances of me doing something that you don't agree with, probably pretty good because I'm not asking you how I should live my life. And hopefully you're not running around and asking people how to live your life. And then, but back to what we were talking about on the six human needs, why I'm saying the needing versus the wanting, it's because once you understand the love thing, then you understand the same thing with the six human needs. It's not that I need you. I want you because you're fulfilling some of the needs that I feel is significant for my growth, for my journey, for my... That's why we're saying get clear on what it is you want, what you're looking for. And then you're looking for people again. And that's where I'm talking about is headed in the same direction as you. Because now you know. If I know that significance is very important to me. You guys follow? So that's not saying this girl over here makes me, I'm, I love her because she is my significance. No. She makes me, and again, people don't want to hear this because it almost sounds self-serving, but it is. As human beings, that's the way we operate. It's always, and you guys have heard that said before too, people live in a what's in it for me world. That's what's going on. You want to feel significant if that's on the top of your list. Because she, because of who she is and the things that she does, which people are calling the actions, it makes you feel significant. And because of that, people are turning around and saying that equals love. You guys follow? That's why I did, you know, the tying in where I'm saying understanding what love is and then the significance because we get those linked. And I'm like, and they're not. The needs are the needs. Want, you want someone to help you <laughs> address those needs and then we're trying to say that because of what we want we're going to say that equals love because they actually 
do the things that they make me feel significant. She makes me feel significant. So I need her in my life. If that was true, people would never get divorced. You know, people couldn't be single. You guys follow? A need is something that you're, you don't believe you can function without. Not saying it's true or not, but mentally you believe with or without it, you can't survive. And a human being, another human being, you can survive with or without them. I'm not saying it's going to be simple because, again, it's going to come down to mental, the way you process it and stuff. But you will survive with or without them. So it's not a need. It is a want. And example I, I was used to, as I tell people, I said, to me, the, the uh, comparison would be like the drug addict and the drug dealer. Depending on where you're standing. As the drug dealer, you're the person who's needed. As a drug addict, you are the person who needs. And so why would you want to be the drug addict where I need you? Like my world will not, not function. With, why would you ever want to be in that kind of position to another human being who we know people change and, and, and they may decide they don't want to serve you anymore or, or be that person for you they go to. or what? But why would you put your life in the hands of another person who could change at any moment? And I'm not saying you don't trust people, don't misinterpret what I'm saying, or that you don't give because you should give your all to your relationship or you shouldn't be in it. But I'm saying, but your life can't be that I'm dependent on you or I can't survive. And so what I'm saying with the drug addict and drug dealer example is the drug addict will do anything for the drugs. I, I, I need the drugs. I need. Why would you ever want to be in that position? And then, you know, so as a drug dealer, that's what I'm saying. Why would you want to be in that position where you would want someone Depended on you like that. Unless you have a low self-esteem. That means we got a different issue that we need to deal with. Because you're thinking that it's, no, 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 no. Because I mean, you know, they, they, they make me feel important. Folks, if you need them to make you feel significant, you have another issue that needs to be addressed. It's how you feel, which again, what we talk about self-love money. This comes back to how you feel about you. You need to learn to love you some you. That's again why I said, I want that. I enjoy that. I want to be in a relationship where someone does their, their best to try to help me feel significant and add those things to my life. But I have to know that I'm significant with or without them. See, that's why I'm saying the difference between the one and need. Because if I need you to make me feel significant... This is going to be a rough journey. If I need you to give me security, it's going to be enough. That's why uh, you guys heard me talk about, uh, I talked about a, a couple of weeks ago where it was talking about cheating because I was always one of those that I'm like, if she cheat, I'm done. I'm out of here. There ain't even no hesitation. Don't even try to have a conversation with me because if you cheat, it better be somebody you want to be with because I ain't even having a conversation with you. I'm done. And then I'll listen to a couple of uh, people that I listen to, Esther Hicks, and then also, what's his name, Sad, Sad, Sad H. Guru. And I'll listen to them, and both of them just had me, and I'm still stomped. I'm still kind of like, because they were saying, why would you put your sense of security inside of someone else? And because they stepped out on the relationship, in other words, they didn't do kind of what we're saying. You had a game plan. They chose not to follow it. Now you're feeling insecure. And now, which is where I was, that's why I was like, I'm done, I'm out, because you just crossed that line. And 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 so my so basically what I'm saying is my security, which is that you were going to be committed no longer exists because now I'm feeling insecure because the fact is you stepped out and didn't uh, uh, stay with the agreement. And what they're saying is, so why is your security attached to another human being? And I'll just like, woo, okay. So y'all got me messed up now. I'm still, 
<laughs> I, and you guys, I'm still, I'm still stuck on that one because I'm still trying to say, I'm telling myself, if you step outside, I'm done, I'm gone. But it's one of those that I'm like, that. it, it makes me think the people that have stayed in their relationship maybe got a better understanding than I do. And that's why I'm sitting there like, but should not be able to, to me and me and one of my, my good friends were having this conversation because we kept going back and forth because we were both saying the same thing and we're trying to justify how we can say that was wrong and, and it's not about us because it's like, but is it the reason that you, you want out and all that is because doesn't it come back to you that now you feel violated, you feel, and the whole conversation comes back to you. Why is this based on you? Why is your way you feel about yourself being determined by the actions of someone else? And so, again, I'm not going to get it, but you guys can tell. That one, that one still got me going because I'm still like, but don't, 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 I, don't I have the right to, 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 to expect that out of my partner that, that you're going to be loyal and committed? And, 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 and if I want out after they do it, that, 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 you don't say that it means there's something wrong, that my security was tied to them and linked to them. So anyway, that's a whole other conversation, but you guys can see where I'm headed. It was, it's kind of funny because I'm still kind of, I'm still trying to get through that one because as of right now, I'm still saying I'm out, but then I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be more understanding and go, okay, you got to get past yourself. And folks, that's a, that's, Ooh, that's one of those, as they talk about, a, 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 I guess, a spiritual connection or a uh, whatever we want to call it. That's a whole nother level where you can get to that to where what people really do really, truly does not phase you because you're so at peace with where you're at in your life. And I'd like to believe that I'm there, but obviously I'm not. But it's like, so So you guys, be patient with me. Help help me through this. Uh that particular thing. But anyway, uh, back to what we we're talking about here is, is getting it, getting and understanding the difference between needing and wanting in a relationship, which kind of even ties into the cheating is that you want them to be committed. You don't actually need them to be in order for you to feel significant in order for you to be secure because you have to be secure within you no matter what they do because this has not those were their issues that has nothing to do with you so that why you can have the security and all that so anyway so the needs i'm just kind of like but but understanding those differences and i'll tell you those again the 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 the, the six human needs security variety and the reason that you need those just so we understand real quick Security is there certain things in your uh, life you just like to feel secure about. Like when I sat in this chair that I'm in, I wanted, I wanted to know that that chair was going to hold me when I went to sit in it. I want that security. But also in life, if everything, if you know exactly how it's going to work out, then life becomes boring. So we need the, the other one, which is variety. You need some of that in your life. You need things that, you know, people surprise you or you just go do something just, you know, spontaneous. You just go do something different. You got to add that in your because that in itself, that conversation, the variety is why a lot of people have challenges in their relationship because their relationship becomes so secure. So every day we know what we're doing and there is no variety then the relationship becomes boring. And that's why when people go, well, why once a guy catch a woman, he steps outside? Well, a lot of times it's because he got bored inside the relationship, not realizing that's his issue because he needs to figure out how to create some variety inside of his current relationship and he doesn't have to go outside to get it somewhere else. Now, I use the guy, but you guys know everything I said, it works both ways because there's women that do the exact same thing. So I don't buy it to the male, female, but because I use the male example. So, but anyway, so we had the, we had the, the, the security, we had the, the variety, and then we have uh, the number third, the third one was significance. Now that's like my number one significance. And if you know that about me, then you know why I do the things, you know why I do these videos, you know why, why I want to write books and do all that because those things make me feel significant. 
I feel like I'm contributing. I'm doing something. My life stands for something. And so if you know that and you were trying to be a good friend of mine, then you know significance is how you 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 become closer to me, how the relationship becomes intimate because again, like I said, need and want. Because it's a need for me, significance. I want others to give that to me. I got to have it within myself. You see what I'm saying? I got to have it within myself, wanting it there. Because if I need it from somewhere else, I could be in for a, a disappointment. So, but what I was saying is now, a partner may actually give me that significance, or at least I feel significant because of them. And that creates that intimacy. And we mistake that for saying, I need them. But it's not them that I need. I need my need is the significance and they are addressing that which is why i want them in my life does that make sense and so but anyway so number four of course is uh loving connection we all want to be a part of something and 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 feel like we're contributing um be a part of something that's bigger than us and then five and six which most people never get five is growth which means you know kind of stuff if you're listening to the things that i'm teaching uh, hopefully that's the whole idea is you're looking to grow. Even if it's just you, you're looking to grow. But in the process of growing you, you'll hit number six, which is contribution. Because as human beings, that's just how we are. As we continue to grow, um, if we see someone going through particular situations and we feel like we can help, we're going to contribute. Does that make sense? But like what, what Tony teaches, most people spend their life in the first four and they never get to five and six, which is growth and contribution. And again, remember, like I said, in the top four, there is no certain order. It's just people will do whatever it takes to get the top four, but then you spend most of their time in, the, in two, in the top two. And if you can figure out that in a person, what their top two needs are, you pretty much understand them and you know why they act the way they act. So, but anyway... But that's why I wanted to clarify in this video. So there is a difference between needs, which we just talked about, and there's only six. That's why I don't know why people keep trying to uh, uh, come up with these. Well, I'm not going to throw up. <laughs> anyway, why we keep trying to uh, uh, mix these up, just understand there's only six needs. Now, we know we need water in order to survive. Uh, need a little bit of food in there. Okay, so, so those are needs. A person, an individual, doesn't fit that criteria because you will survive with or without them, even though the world wants to keep telling you there, you will survive with or without them. I didn't say it wouldn't be painful. I didn't say it wouldn't hurt. But you will survive with or without them. That's why I said there's a difference between wanting them in your life and needing them in your life because needing means I wouldn't be able to survive without you. So I just wanted to cover that real quick, the difference, understanding this love thing. It's not based on action. Quit trying to tell people based on your actions determines on if you love me because think think of that, what I just said. If you love me, this is what you, what you would do. You guys, I mean, doesn't that sound like manipulating? If you do this, I will love you. That's love? That's why I said it's not action. Love is just accepting a person, place, or thing just the way they are. I didn't say agree again, you guys. Remember, I keep saying I didn't say agree with what they do because that's going to determine on whether we spend time or not. But I accept you as you are. That's love. The action is going to determine on whether we're going to spend time together or not. And there is a difference. So as you guys know, it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It is my opinion. I definitely just wanted to get that out there because this was a conversation we're going through. And, and there are people that really, they want to battle you on that about, no, it's not. It's a, it's a need. It's a one. My perspective, as I said. So for those of you who we get together on self-love, uh, Monday, I look forward to talking to you on Monday. And then those for you that we talk a little bit on the relationships, uh, I look forward to talking to you next Thursday on Relationship Thursday. And the main thing I wanted you guys to get out of this is understand the difference between the needing and wanting. 
Make sure you're fulfilling your needs and that you're not looking for someone else to fulfill that for you. That's why I'm saying wanting a relationship and a certain person in your life because they are addressing some of those needs of yours because they're, they're, they're addressing those. But not because I need you. I want you in my life because I never want you to get to that point where you, you're ever, because that's why people end up settling because they start to tell themselves, well, I need them. Don't settle. Look forward to talking to you guys later. Enjoy the process. Uh, and any, any feedback, get back to me on this topic and any other topics. And I'd love to do more videos and have more feedback from you. Talk to you guys soon. Take care. All right. Signing out. Ron Simplified Mice. Your uplifting life partner. <laughs> Take care.